Good morning. Another rainy day here in Florida. It's like 69 already, but it is so humid. It's weird. It's like a thick humidity. I don't know. But um, so I wanted to videotape <laughs> today because it's that time. I need to don't. And I really want to see the manatees and maybe a monkey, but we are headed back to that state park. So I'm hoping Dustin isn't there, but we're just going to swallow our pride and, um, and go for it. I can't avoid it. The only way to do it is through it. Uh, and I wanted to tell you guys too, I know everybody's like, Hey, before you get a new transmission, you know, check this out, the fluid and stuff like that. So this guy, Bob, who, um, um, sorry, I have to pull over. There's somebody behind me. I just kind of pulled over on this road. Um, Bob, <clears throat> uh, he is like a father to me. And so, you know, I have a code reader and I hooked it up right when the light came on. You know, mine's just like a $40 code reader. And it said, you know, P17, Four zero was that it um which is the torque converter which is the transmission and then when I brought it there you know it's funny I sit down his son works there and his daughter-in-law and we all just sit around the desk and shoot the shit his son goes hey dad it's your favorite uh customer and um so we were just talking and Bob has worked for Dodge for 24 years so he's worked on Dodge I have a Dodge um chassis that's what this is and um and he hooked his up <clears throat> to his super duper fancy code reader which cost fifteen hundred dollars and you know it came up the same thing but and so he had it plugged in and i'm thinking like what's hey i go fine just order it you know i'm kind of like that like okay just let's just get it done and um he's like hold on a minute hold on he goes uh you know, maybe I can find like a $20 fix. You know, he goes, don't be such in a rush. And he literally had that thing plugged in for 15, 20 minutes. And I don't know how it works, but like all these codes are coming up and whatever, and he's doing this and checking stuff. And it really did finally come down to, it is the transmission. Um, so I implicitly trust him. Like I said, there's some connection there, like, karma or not karma would it cut co cosmic I don't know but um yeah it's like he wants to take care of me like I'm his daughter and you know he just had a heart attack and so um yeah no he tried to find something less expensive and somebody said oh he's only charging for the part if you don't know that when uh uh like mechanics place orders a part they upcharge you for ordering the part because you know a lot of times they have to go get it or they have to have it sent there or they just do it because for the convenience of them getting it for you uh yeah so he's only charging me cost for that um and uh yeah and so just for the installation and he even said he goes tracy because they said oh i'm going to jacksonville because i need to get it done you know people are like oh get a second opinion get this and it's like, I literally don't have the time. And like I said, I implicitly trust him. And um, so he's having this guy send it to him. I'm bringing it in tomorrow so that he can take it out so that when it comes Thursday, he can just drop it in and then um, I can get it back Thursday or Friday. Um, and he even said, he goes, cause he said, oh, I'm supposed to leave for Jacksonville on Sunday. And he said, well, I'll come in Saturday if I have to. I'm like, no, you're not coming in. I go, it's not like I can put that off a couple days. <clears throat> but um, so he even offered that. So again, just a really great place. And you, when you find somebody you trust, I have a feeling if I got a second opinion, they would say something different. Anyway, we, don't worry about me. The I'm getting the transmission fixed. <laughs> Charlene is just like a whole new... You're a whole new lady. She got a, she got a, a what is it? A mommy makeover. Um, so, okay, well, we're gonna go see if we can see the manatees. I just looked up the count today and I think it said 675. So I don't know if that's like current, current, 
Yeah, because I Googled it. But um, okay, we're gonna swallow our pride and head back to uh, the state park. Okay, come on, let's go, here we go. So I stopped by the post office first. Look what I got, it's a sign the day I'm going back and uh, hmm. <laughs> look what I got I'm keeping it in here until I leave I don't want the buggies to take it <laughs> just to be on the safe side okay I thought that was funny that that's what I get when I stop by here when I'm going back okay let's go Okay, we're getting close to the park. So, uh, it's over this hill. It's funny, you can't see. Like when I came over it, that's when I saw all the, all the cars. So we'll see. Uh, no, no cars today. No Dustin. It's Tuesday though, so I'm assuming that um, that uh, manatee count 259 Monday through Friday. Okay, we're gonna pay and we're gonna see the manatees and we're gonna pay to dump today. <laughs> Back to the, the the scene of the crime. Oh no, I hope Dustin's not in there. There's a bunch of them sitting in that little house. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so it says manatee count 259. And see all those people in there? Oh. Okay. Two hundred and fifty-nine manatees. They said there was up to like seven hundred. God, Dustin's in there. <laughs> oh, they must be having a meeting. Oh, fuck. All the park rangers are in there. Oh, of course. I can feel myself turning red already. He sees me. He sees me. He's coming to the window. Hi. How are we doing today? Good, how are you? Good. Can I get a dump and can I see the manatees? Are we charging Are we charging admission with dump with dump? Is that just dump out? Oh, oh that's a lot of park rangers in there. Staff meeting. Staff meeting. So 1065 for the dump. Yep. And then what is it for the manatees? Like four or something? It, we're just, since you're doing the dump, we just oh, move it all. Oh, great. Thanks. Do you know where the dump station is? Have you been here? Yep. Before? I've been here once before. And then the manatees, then do I come back and just keep going straight? Yeah. Come back out of the campground to yep. the right all the way down until the dead ends. Okay. Thanks. Hi. So are you kidding me? I could have stayed last week. And seen the manatees. I wouldn't have had to do that to Dustin. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. Oh. Okay. Alright, 
right, well, I'm in the park. Let's go dump and see the manatees. Finally, it was a busy, busy time at the dump station. There was somebody dumping when I got there and then there was somebody just behind me. So I was gonna film because I was gonna look for the cap and see if maybe I could find it still, but um, too much pressure. There was somebody waiting and I just needed to get done and do it. But now we're headed to see the manatees, so let's do it. So I'm parked to see the manatees, but I know there are new followers and someone asked to show the van. So I'm just gonna give a quick overview. I'm sure a lot of you have already seen it, but just a quick overview of inside Charlene because she's kind of clean right now. So <laughs> better do it now. Okay, so here's the back. I This can be done into seating. Do you see the cushions under there? Um, so I had them repolstered. It's a 2001 road track and it had all the original stuff. So everything was like purple, purple paisley. And that's a four inch memory foam. And so I just keep it set up as my bed. And this is where I work back here and stuff. And there's Chuck and Charlie, if you haven't seen them in a while. <laughs> They're my traveling partners. Um, and storage here, and then a full air conditioner storage here. And um, I had all the original curtains. They were all blackout, but they were purple paisley. So what I did was I bought some fabric and then just uh, sewed over them so that I could keep the original curtains. Um, I actually have a heater in here. That's a thermostat right there. And so that's how that runs. And this right here is just like storage. Um, keep my towels and stuff there and let's see on this side there's a mirror there uh is my bathroom and I actually did this all myself this is contact paper and that was a big job I even did up there and then I even there was carpet right here but I tiled all this myself this was carpet here and it was really dirty. It was like where the table was and everything. I pulled up the carpet and I laid this tile myself. Uh, the floor, let's see, let me close this. Let's go back to this. Um, this is more storage. I gotta straighten that out. Uh, that's where I keep my clothes. And then there's like food down there, like canned goods and stuff. Um, so the floor, Again, I laid myself and then I tied, so I did backsplash up here and I tied it in around there. So there's, I got a sink and um, two stoves or two stove tops or whatever. Put everything in the sink when I drive so that it just doesn't go all over. I have a microwave. Um, I don't know, I did that in the summer. Just kind of cheered me up. Um, and this, there was a big closet right here, and that's the first thing I took out so I could see that window, and I had that cushion made up, cut, I cut it to size and then covered it, and then, uh, put on this lagoon table, so the lagoon table comes just as the handle, and I literally bought these, this, this was shelving, and I, um, drilled it together with like, you know, like the U-joints or whatever. And so this is shelving, it was on sale, I think it cost me $12, cut it to size, and then um, attached it to the lagoon table. So this moves and this moves all the way out here and stuff. So um, yeah, and then I put this up, it's a, just, just like a shower curtain or whatever, and these are blackout curtains so that nobody knows that I'm back here. And then, uh, sorry, I'm gonna turn you around here. Um, I did this, this is like contact paper. It took a lot to cut, <laughs> cut around everything. Um, but I really love how that turned out. I think that that just adds, if you see, I have like a, I love white and kind of a, you know, what is it called, shabby chic theme, nautical theme, beachy theme. Uh, so yeah, so that was a lot too. I had to keep everything in the same and then cut around there. I painted everything white, did that all by myself because uh, it was normally like um, tan. I'll put a picture of before 
here. And so I did back here too. I did the same thing with that um, here. So, so yeah, that's Charlene. And then I just found this to tie it in. I don't know. I love light blue colors. And yeah, that's it. Okay, now we're gonna go see the manatees. So let's go see them. This is what park looks like and I'm assuming the manatees are at the end of these docks here because that's where everybody's gathering. What are those down there? They look like sharks. I don't know. Oh, that's interesting. She said there's some fish that there was one rolling and there's some fish I guess that try to catch a ride and they don't like it and so they'll roll over to get the fish off. fish that is. That's a big fish. Wow. What is that? Holy cow. I wish I had a rod and reel. That was totally worth losing a dump cap over. Did you see how many of them there were? Oh my goodness. And she said the other day they counted, sorry, I'm turning on the air, it's warm. Uh, they counted 659, they just hand count them. So she said it's an estimate. But, so I'm at Blue Spring State Park and she said that the, it stays 72 degrees the water does here all year round and so you know it's been cold here and like it was but like 60 out you know further so they come in here but they have to she said they kind of come in and out because they still have to go feed so there is something about manatees and dolphins that makes me like a little kid that just makes me happy and giddy and uh, I think because they're so like big, but they're so kind and docile that there's this, you know, 
beauty in that. Um, so anyway, so that was totally worth it. Totally worth losing my crapper cap over. Okay, now I'm gonna head to the gym. So um, tomorrow I have to bring in my car, my van, Charlene. And he's going to take out the transmission so it's ready when it comes on Thursday. So um, I am not going to be doing a video probably, I don't know what, till when. Uh, I'm going to stay at John's. John is in Iowa. His dad is turning 90. And so John's been there for a while. So he actually said I could stay at his place. His place is really nice. <laughs> so I'm going to sleep there tomorrow night and... Thursday night and then uh, Charlene should be done on Friday and yeah then I plan on leaving I'm not sure when I have stuff I have to get done before I leave to go to Jacksonville but oh and um, you know how I'm now a registered flight nanny um, so I'm in the beta program so it's the first one you know so she's testing it out and for us that signed up for this program, uh, we get to do a fly along, fly along with her. So actually, February 13th, I'm flying from Orlando to Philly, meeting her there, and then flying back because she has a puppy to bring back to Orlando. And so, um, so that's what I'm gonna do with her, to learn like how you go through customs and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited for that. Uh, that's all I got to fill you up on. Oh, and Ron, um, honestly, I learned so much last night and I can't wait to learn more. And, uh, you know, it is kind of sad that, well, my mom really doesn't, she doesn't have any real estate, but to know that you should do that five years prior and get those things set in motion before it's actually time where then they can just like take your money and stuff. Uh, so, you know, estate planning that's like what Ron was talking about these things you can do beforehand honestly I never really got that um, and like he said a will is just kind of like a backup if you have everything else already set in place and then you don't have to worry about like probate so uh, I'm gonna have him on more he actually loves talking about this I love talking about it I'm learning so much hopefully you're learning a lot uh, Jenny's going to be on this week too and then I'm going to ask Angela who is um, she works for a plastic surgeon she you know does all the things all the things and so we'll talk about like uh, I don't call it anti-aging uh, it because nobody I don't want you don't want to anti-age listen it's a privilege to age but you know where you can keep your skin looking good and just you know feeling feeling good about yourself and your skin and stuff like that so that's coming up I'm actually kind of jazzed about all this because like I said it helps me and uh, yeah I know some people are really appreciative and have questions and so um, so yeah so I'm gonna have to learn more like how Ron's not really technical either <laughs> there is um, Jenny and so we're all just kind of figuring it out as we go I still have the stream yard thing and uh, I've been using Zoom because that wasn't working. So uh, I'll have to see what happens. But anyway, um, yeah, this started my day off really good, seeing the manatees. Uh, I'm gonna let you go here. So I don't know when I'm gonna have a video next. Uh, maybe I have to work from one to nine on Thursday. Keith said I could use his car or his truck, or else I said he could just drop me off and pick me up, either one. Uh, so yeah, it's great to have friends, you know, wherever you are that can help when you need it. Okay, I'm gonna let you go. You, go out and make an adventure, no matter how big or how small. You can just like go see the manatees. That's an adventure. That was fun. <laughs> People are walking by, look at me talk to myself. <laughs> uh, go call somebody you love, and as Joy says, tell them that you love them, and don't you dare forget your magic, just like manatees and dolphins. And don't be a Karen. Okay. Uh, have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.